So as those of you following the 16mm Hudson Hunslet build will know, um, I've been looking at ways of forming this kind of shape uh, from sheet metal. The original plan had been to form it from um, one millimetre thick aluminium. Um, but this was actually formed from some half millimetre um, thick sheet and it's it's not a perfect fit there's lots of there's lots of problems with it it's not square uh, these cut folds aren't um, as sharp as they, they, they could be um, so I've been looking at ways of, of, of forming this in a more kind of reliable uh, manner um, and one of the options is going to be kind of some bespoke tooling I think to see if I can kind of force this shape um, but I've also been looking at some kind of slightly more um, generic tools for uh, forming metal that may that may be useful for, for this project and for other projects. So I thought I'd do a quick um, comment on one of the tools that I've got before and then a review of, a, of the new tool. So what I've had before is this. So this is a hold and fold. Um, and essentially you can um, unscrew this plate, a bit of a gap, slide sheet metal in. Um, screw it back down and then and then fold the parts uh, and there's lots of different little pieces and shapes and the idea being that this is great for building uh, kits with etched parts where they already have etched um, fold lines so you can get the fold line into the right kind of piece of, of this and fold it and that works nicely but as I tried it um, while folding these parts and it just doesn't work very well because there's nothing to there's no fold line so you just kind of get a crease you don't really get a, an actual sharp fold so the tool I've bought is this so this is um, a miniature metal folding uh, break which I brought from Kronos engineering tools um, obviously I don't have space for a, a proper metal break but the kind of things that you kind of pull down um, but this works in a kind of a bit similar fashion um, in that what you have essentially if you can see is there's a guide in the bottom here this black metal guide it's probably easier to see from that side uh, with a groove and then this sharp angled um, piece here um, and you obviously slot the metal in and then screw down these these two pieces to kind of force that bit into the guide and that bends the metal uh, now I think the description I saw said that it was um, it was okay for up to one and a half millimeter thickness pieces of metal but um, from a quick test I did before I don't think that's quite the case um, it has this little piece that came with no instructions by the way um, but I think this piece is just so that you can essentially set it uh, as like guide push against um, I think that's the thing or possibly to hold not to hold down because that wouldn't necessarily work but a guide anyway so um, I'm going to try this one millimeter thick sheet so I'm going to put it under put it against the, the guide and then to kind of screw these down at least so that it doesn't fall out and then I'll show you how it looks so let me just get these down so that's not coming out now um, and you can see it's kind of it's kind of locked into this piece so if I if I now try and turn these I can it's I mean obviously this thing has holes so I could bolt it to a bench I don't have a bench to bolt it to um, and as a miniature thing you'd think it would be easier to kind of do by hand but I can't make that make a dent in this in this one millimeter sheet um, of aluminium uh, I just can't get it tight enough um, <clears throat> and if you look at it you can see if I can get the light right. It's made a, like a line on the metal, but it's made no attempt to, to bend that. However, if I take the half millimetre sheet and do the same thing. Bring these up a bit further. Okay, so if I line this up again. Sorry, it's kind of difficult to do without getting my hands in the way. Um, so lock it down. So now if I tighten these down, it's a bit difficult, but I can do it. Um, and you can see the metal's beginning to bend, it's, it's lifting up here um, and I can continue doing it and I need to kind of have a look at what kind of angle I've got um, let's say I want a 90 degree angle so let's keep going that's about right, um, so it's bent, it's bent nicely um, so I'm going to undo this undo this, lift the guide up it gets a bit stuck on the bottom, the, the radius on the bottom of this thing is quite sharp so it does get stuck, uh, but there you go um, it's made a really nice uh, tight tight bend that's really really nice um, so that should allow me to do the 90 degree folds I need for the part 
um, there's only one slight problem. So if you remember the original piece, it has a 90 degree fold and then an almost 90 degree fold upwards. So I've done one fold, um, but I can't now do the second fold because I need to get this piece in, in here so it goes, the guy goes in. Well, the bit I've just folded is now in the way. Um, and there's 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 no obvious way of 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 doing that. I mean that's the that's the that's the closest I can get it to the guide, which means that this gap now is like twice the size it needs to be. Um, if I folded it again, um, so that's that's problematic. Um, it would be okay if I needed to fold it this way to make kind of like a U-shaped piece, um, but I can't fold that step. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. As I say, I'm hoping I can make some kind of form tool to do this, um, but I don't know whether I'm going to have to do um, kind of, you know, do the 90 degree fold here and then use that as some way of holding, you know, in the form tool if I hold it by this piece and then form that. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, um, it's a new tool add to the, to the, 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 the set and for what it is, um, it, it, it works really, really well. As I say, it gives a really nice crisp, crisp fold um, on this on this aluminium sheet um, that I certainly couldn't do do by hand or with the Holden fold. Um, so I think it's uh, yeah, it's a nice tool. Again, a, a lot like a lot of the other kind of slightly more engineeringy tools um, that I have for modelling. Um, it's not going to get a huge amount of use, but it, when when you need it, it's going to do the job it's designed for uh where you know trying to do it by hand with hand tools etc is never going to give that quite that um you know you couldn't do that with kind of scoring it with a with a knife or something and then using pliers to hold the metal or or, or anything it's not going to be that nice and crisp um so i think um yeah i think it does the job um and we'll have to see as i say i still haven't come up with a good solution for building this whole piece yet um we'll have to see if that that features in it or not uh, but for now, that's the miniature metal bending brake uh, that I bought from uh, Kronos Engineering Tools. Uh, 